Hi, welcome to the Angular and Spring Boot CRUD tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a model class and a component and also we are going to add a routing to our Angular application. So let's begin. Let's go to the Visual Studio Code and inside the app folder, we are going to create a three more folders. One is for services and another one is for components and another one is for the models to keep all our model classes. So inside the app folder, let's create three more folders components services and the models to keep all our model classes so inside the models package uh, let's go ahead and create a model class so i'm going to open up one more terminal so by the way inside this visual studio code you can create any number of terminals you want just click on this plus icon this is going to create a one more terminal window let me clear this and I'm going to use the Angular CLI to create all the services, components and the classes. So ng g for generate class and I'm going to keep all the model classes inside this dedicated folder which is models slash and I'm going to specify the model class name which is expense. You don't have to specify anything else like model or entity anything like that. Just specify expense and you don't need to specify the extension as well this is going to the angular cli itself going to attach an extension for us and by the way i'm going to skip the test files so for that minus minus skip tests and set this to false this is going to uh, not creating the so this is going to skip by creating the test files for us so hit enter this is going to create just the model class for us you can see uh, by the way it is also created this pack.ts file maybe this is because i have uh, specified the uh, wrong uh, annotation or the wrong parameters i think minus minus skip tests is enough it seems you don't have to specify false or anything like that maybe if you're using angular 8 then probably you will specify minus minus pack dot something false like that i have used the angular 8 uh, command that's why it is also created the uh, spec files as well so let's actually go ahead and uh, delete this and try it with uh, the angular 9 commands okay, let me remove this false and hit enter this time we should expect only one file which is expense expense.ts file there you go it has been created i think i have used the uh, previous version command okay fine no problem so now we have this expense.ts file inside this let's go ahead and define the fields make sure to define the same field names which you have created in our spring boot application let's go to the expense.java and you can see we have this id expense description and amount and we're going to specify or we're going to maintain the same field names inside this as well id which is of type number and expense which is of type string and amount which is of type number and description which is of type string okay now we have created the model class let's save this so let's go ahead and quickly create the service as well again we're going to make use of the angular cli to create the service so ng g for generate yes for service and we're going to keep all the services in a dedicated folder which is services and I'm going to call the service uh, file name as expense. You don't have to attach service to this file name. Okay. You just have to specify the expense by default. The angular CLI will attach service to this file. Like it is going to create the class as expense service. So you don't have to specify the service for this. And we are going to skip the test files as well, like skip tests and hit enter this is going to generate one single file for us which is expense service you can see so now let's go to the service file okay so this has been created with the name expense service let's say suppose if you specify expense service then this is going to generate a class name with expense service service okay that is not going to uh, that will uh, not make sense so make it like expense 
the angular itself attach to the service to it now let's go ahead and create a component ng g for generate c for component we're going to keep all the components in a dedicated folder components and the component name is list expense again you don't need to add the component to it or angular automatically add the component to it and we don't want to generate the spec files or the test files so specify minus minus skip tests this is going to generate all the necessary files the ts file html file and the css file and it also updates the app.module.ts file so if you go to the components you can see the list of the html file css file and the ts file so inside the ts file you can see we have this app minus list minus expenses selector so let's go ahead and add this selector inside our app.component.html let me copy this selector let's save this and if you go to the browser we should expect the list expenses works okay so now we have created the component the model class and the service now we need to add the angular routing so that we are going to do in our next video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video